Hello and welcome back to day six of my solver this, the Escape the Sunken Submarine Advent Calendar in which each day you have to work out where the next door is by solving a clue hidden behind one of the doors of this very fishy looking advent calendar. And yesterday we worked out that our door was right over here, door six. And each day you have to actually open the door to verify it's correct. This is quite away from my camera so I'm just going to switch to a different camera. So this is the door we opened yesterday and as you can see there's a number six in there confirming it's the right one plus a, a riddle card. And then in the room itself there is a there's a notebook with a fish on it and a bit of paper sticking out. On the left there is a, <laughs> a map with a three in Roman numerals and a banana. And this is the fourth map I found in various days and I haven't needed them yet so I think they're for a future puzzle. Um, and then on the right there are some fish. These are the fish we used to open this door yesterday. Nothing at the top. Nothing very exciting down the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to focus my interest on the card I've just taken out. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the cards. I'll zoom in. It says, hey, a floating notebook. <laughs> That's what we saw inside the door. Okay, let's see what's inside. Looks like a journal, but the words don't make any sense. What's the point of this nonsense? Okay, and then let's see what's on the back. Let's split it into the two cards it actually is. Okay, one says machinist and has two stripes. Yeah, these are, I've been collecting various things on the back of cards as I've gone, and I don't think they're usable yet. I don't think there's a future puzzle for those. Uh, it says, what's the point of this nonsense? And I think that point is the key word, because I can see here that everything starts with the similar letters. So Stephen Walter was worriedly waiting, which apart from being a tongue twister, um, clearly starts with W for all words apart from the first. And then we have now Neil entertained sailors every night eating watery scrambled eggs. So I think each of these words starts with a compass point. And I think we're probably navigating from the room we were in yesterday by following these compass points. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? First of all, if we don't wander off the calendar by doing that, that is a pretty good indicator we're probably correct. So we're here and we get Stephen, Walter. You probably can't see the doors very clearly. But you can work out where they are by inference from the other ones. Stephen Walter was worriedly waiting. Now, move the calendar, trying to lose what ham. Neil uh, entertains, sa entertains sailors, does he now? Every night eating watery scrambled eggs. Well, you've got to get your kick somewhere. Watery scrambled egg performances are particularly popular. In submarines. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm saying. Right, so I think this is the door. I'm pretty sure this must be, if that's door six, this is our door seven. So much so I'm tempted to write seven on it before I even open it to check it. But I will check it. Otherwise it's a bit anticlimactic, isn't it? Saying I think I've finished it, but I don't really know. I'll find out tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Let's just have a quick, I can see the seven there. So we've done it. Right, I will write seven on it. And we are sold for today. That was a nice, relatively easy one, I think. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, join me tomorrow when I shall open. Well, I've already opened it. When I shall try solving the puzzle within the door I just opened. <laughs> and um, you can also check here for two playlists. This one is my souls of Advent calendars this year. And this one is my souls of Advent calendars last year. I sold three each year, including this one this year. And um, either way, I hope I see you in a future video. Bye.